Good morning. I listened to this liberated woman, Chris Forsne. She used to work for public service media. She was quite well known. She was a TV host. She was a reporter. And now she was interviewed by this independent media channel, Sweb TV, <laughs> which is a brilliant channel that we have. And I listened to her and she wasn't afraid. She could speak up and I could see it. She was liberated. Yeah. And I want to tell you how it is. We have the Swedish establishment here in Sweden and people close to the establishment. They haven't been able to speak up. They have been afraid. Yeah. It's like a big blanket has been lying on top of them. It's like a cult with cult leaders telling them what to think and what to say. And of course, there are people here in the establishment that had different ideas, but it was impossible for them to say anything. And now this blanket is starting to lift off the establishment. And you see it. People are starting to speak up. Yes. Even lefties. It's like they are, they are afraid to be left behind. Now the cult leaders, it's still really awful. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. But, I mean, the, the cult leaders, they are still going on about this, you know, you can't think this, you can't say this, and so on. But there is a change. Now, the people, that's another story, of course, the citizens of Sweden, they haven't had this blanket, not as heavy at least. So people have been talking freely, of course. They, not, they haven't been public, but people talk. Of course they do. To each other. Yeah. And on social media. And of course it's thanks to these people speaking up. But now the, this blanket is starting to lift off also from the establishment. And you get freedom. Freedom to speak. Yeah. I want to tell you a story, and I think it's an example of how people talk. Uh, there's a town up north called Borlänge, and there's an area in this town that is called, by the people living there, it's called Little Mogadishu. Mogadishu is, of course, a town in Somalia, and they call it Mogadishu, Little Mogadishu because there's a lot of people from Somalia living there. That's right. And we have the ice cream truck in Sweden. I'm sure you have them. These trucks going around in, into society selling ice cream to kids. And now the ice cream truck, they will not go to this little Mogadishu anymore. No. Because the kids have been harassing the drivers. Yeah. There was one incident where they say about 50 kids harassed one driver, demanding of him to give them ice cream. So they don't go there anymore. So what do you need to do about this? What's the solution? Well, the solution is deportation. Yes, uh, their parents and their kids should be deported back to their homeland, of course. Yeah. There's only one political party who talks about deportations these days, really. And it's alternative for Sweden. Yeah. I also want to, to say this. Uh, I saw this. This was funny, I think. It was about Joe Biden. I don't know if you saw these videos uh, where he is uh, using words from older speeches. Yeah, I will post a link below so you can watch it. You know, 
mainstream media, they don't cover this. If mainstream media did, Joe Biden would have to give it up, I think, because it's really, uh, it's mad. That's what it is. Yeah, he's been using older speeches, pretending that it's his own thoughts. Speeches from John F. Kennedy and this British Labour Party leader, Neil Kinnock. In one incident, he says, Joe Biden says this, <laughs> I was just thinking on my way over here. That's what he says. And then it's like every word he speaks is from an older speech. <laughs> it's, it's hilarious. <laughs> so, people need to know this. I was just thinking, what if mainstream media looked into Joe Biden for real? Like they look into Trump. Joe Biden would have a chance. No. All right. Have a good day. Bye.